Hi there everybody! Today I want to show you a quick how-to video on getting a full complete makeup look using products just from Five Below. They're great, they're convenient, they're inexpensive. If you want to pick out a color that's kind of trending, it's a great place to try because you're not spending more than five dollars and if you don't like it, you don't like it. So I'm going to show you what I have. I've got foundation. This is a Cream foundation, pretty moisturizing by Wet n Wild, along with a coordinating uh, concealer, also by Wet n Wild. Then I have a contouring color palette. This eyeshadow palette, the color is called Bare, and it is a bunch of really pretty, golden, shimmery, uh, coordinating colors, and it comes with ooh, my little brush fell out. It comes with a really great primer that I was shocked at how well this primer works. I'll do a little demo of that individually. I also have this little palette here. It's really cute. I actually bought this for one of my daughters um, and my youngest has been obsessed with playing with it. So I'm warning when I open it, it's a bit messy looking. You can see they've been having a bit of fun with this. I'm using this one for the lipstick so they're really nice sheer colors in here. Uh, but this is great if you want to buy a gift for somebody because it's such a pretty packaging. Then I also have this grooming kit. It comes with an eyelash curler, a brown gel eyeliner, and an eyebrow kit. Starting with my Wet n Wild Cream Foundation. Moving on to some concealer. I'm just gonna drop a little bit. Next, I'm gonna move on to the contouring kit. On a normal day, what I have on now, just a bit of moisturizing foundation, some concealer, and I throw on a little bit of mascara, that's what I would wear for a normal day. But today I wanna to show you a full look, so we're gonna move on to the contouring kit. You've got six colors in here, ranging in depth of shade, including a white shimmery highlighter and a very pale gold shimmering highlighter. And I like to use in uh, a fluffy eyeshadow brush to put these on because you can get into more precise application using this as opposed to a big poofy brush and then I use a big poofy brush to blend it all in. And another little trick that I've developed to put this on is instead of trying to guess where to put the contouring is to look down and any spots that you can't see kind of suck in. You can see where the shadow is going to show up right along there. And along the hairline here, which would be the darker area, along your jawline in here, that's where I'm going to put the contouring instead of like, oh, where does this go? So let's do this. I'm going to use these two shades here on the bottom. Okay, so you can see where these two lines are. A little bit more on this side. And it's basically in the hollow of where my cheek area and before my jawline would start. Then I'm going to take the next lighter shade on the bottom here and go above, right above that line just to give it a little gradi gradiating uh, markation. And now I'm going to apply the same contouring color concept to the other areas. Once I have this area in, it's pretty easy. Uh, you can see there's some shadow in here, so I'm going to put some right here. Then basically frame the rest of your face. And for that, I'm going to use just the lighter side now because I want the deepest contour to be on my cheekbone area or the under the cheek line area to make your cheekbones pop. The rest I'm going to use just the lighter color. So now I'm going to go back in with the white highlighter and any spot where I have the dark contour, I'm going to put a stripe of the white going along it to bring out the contrast. In the top and along the bottom. So let me come in close. You can see where there's darkness for contouring and the lightness for highlighting. Next, I like to go in with just a flat makeup sponge and blend this in. And then finally, I'll go in with a poofy brush to buff it all out. And I'm basically gonna, when I blend this in, I'm gonna blend it in the direction that the lines go. Now 
and then blend further out into your hairline and your jawline. Take your fingers, warm them up a bit, and give it one last blending. So now that I have my basic contouring in, I'm going to also use this palette as a blush bronzer. So I'm going to use this center one in here, which has a bit of an orangey tone to it. And I'm just going to use it to make a circle on my cheeks. Another one. Blend it in a bit. And then I'm going to take the white and put that right in the center of the circle. And for whatever I'm doing my cheeks, I like using my fingers to blend it in because it creates a, just the perfect combination of textures to give you the right blending. Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna go in with my big brush and with this like almost champagne shimmery color and use that to apply to the entire face to blend everything in all together and give a nice glow. So now that I have my base done, I'm going to start with my eyes, starting with my eyebrows. This is the duo that came with the eyebrow kit. You've got a light and a dark color, and it came with a little brush that's actually a pretty good brush for when you're doing your eyebrows. You want a nice, stiff bristle brush, and this one's pretty hard. I'm going to go ahead and start doing my eyeshadow, and I'm using the Bare color kit from Five Below, and all these colors are really, really pretty, and I'm quite shocked at how blendable these powders are. They're very velvety, and they go on really well, and they last long. And I was shocked by this little tube of primer that comes with them. Like, ah, it's not gonna do anything, it's not gonna work. But this stuff is amazing. It really does intensify the color of the shadow that you're using, and it does make it last a lot longer. So I'm gonna do a little demo here on my hands, and I'm just gonna make a stripe down the center. And I'm gonna just stripe it down my hand. So you can see right where the primer is and where there's no primer, it almost doesn't show up. Let me do it again. You see where I'm starting? And you can see where this primer is, it shows up really, really well. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the primer. For a kind of smoky look, I'm going to start with just a base color, and today I think I'm going to go with this one right in here. What to do next? I think I'm going to go a little gold. Next, I'm going to go down to this end and get this really rich bronzy color to throw out some contouring. So now I'm going to take this peachy color right here in the center to blend everything together. And I'm going to go back to my highlighting kit, my highlight contour kit, and grab a little bit of the white to just highlight my brow bone and the in our corner. And then blend it all together again. All right, to finish up the shadow look, I'm gonna take a flat head eyeliner brush and just put a little bit of shadow along the bottom line to make a smoky look. Okay, so here's my little pot of gel eyeliner. I'm going to take my brush, dab it in. I'm going to do the inner eyelash rim as well as the upper rim so that it gives that good smoky look. All right, I'm shadowed, I'm contoured, I've got my liner on. One last thing to do um, is to do my lashes, and that really pulls a look together. So I'm going to use my little Crimper, be careful using these. Don't pinch your eyelids, please. No good. Tops and bottom of your lashes. 
All right, I'm all done. Last thing to do is borrow my daughter's little makeup palette and throw some lipstick on. I'm going to do the darker red one. These are sheer lip glosses that are in here. And I'm just gonna use my finger. Done, how easy was that? Everything that you see on my face from start to finish was all from Five Below. The foundation, concealer, contouring product, uh, shadows, eyebrows, mascara, eyeliner, all from there. And it is a complete look, way more than I would normally wear on a daily basis. But I am quite pleased. Uh, too bad I don't have anything special to go and do today. So have a great day. Give a thumbs up, share, leave your comments or questions below, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.